Today we're taking a look at the Read It Scholar HD. Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. So this is the Read It Scholar HD. It's a portable digital magnifier, a desktop magnifier, a CCTV. It plugs into a computer and uses your computer as the monitor. This device would be great for students needing to carry something back and forth to class. This would also be great for business professionals that need to take something to an office or anybody living in a small space, an apartment that doesn't have room for a big old giant CCTV. This would be great. You're not using it, you can fold it down. It's about the size of a piece of paper and about two inches thick and you can fold it down, shove it in a drawer, stick it up on a bookshelf somewhere, get it out of the way, and only pull it out when you need it. So it's a desktop digital magnifier, so of course it's going to zoom in, zoom out, it's going to have the different colors, you can invert the colors. All of those features are standard on this guy, but what makes this special is that it also does OCR. So you'll be able to capture an image of a document and it will read it aloud to you. It's got a very powerful OCR camera built in and one of the extra benefits of this device is that it can do OCR at a distance. So it can take a picture of a newspaper, for example, at 20, 30 feet away and it can OCR that newspaper. It's got a powerful camera and can OCR font sizes all the way down to, I believe it's four size font. So the device is super easy to set up. It just swings up like that until it clicks and then the camera swings up and clicks into place also. Then when you wanna use it as a desktop magnifier, you just point the camera down and put your document underneath. If you wanna use it for distance viewing though, you can fold the camera up like this. Camera does rotate and can even turn all the way around. You have this lens here that magnetically attaches to the camera and this is used for when it is in CCTV mode for viewing items close up like a document or a book, that sort of thing. And then if you want to use it for distance viewing to see something across the room, you remove the lens and it just magnetically attaches to its little holding position there. You have a power button on the top. This is a flash and there's a little button on the side that will pop the flash out. Chances are you're not going to need it though. Now as I said, this device connects to a laptop or a desktop computer and you have on-screen controls for taking pictures and zooming in and zooming out and you can also use keyboard commands which I definitely recommend learning those commands that's going to make controlling the device much easier especially if you are on a laptop but with the device you also get a little controller that plugs in by USB into the computer the buttons are very high contrast and they're very tactile so it's easy to find just by feel with this controller I can zoom in I can zoom out I can change the contrast change the colors I can take a picture change the reading mode change the way it's displayed on the screen so you have a lot of options for controlling the device with this provided remote another nice little touch is they even put bump dots on the USB so you know exactly which way to plug it in no more fumbling with the plug, flipping it upside down and right side up, trying to find the right way it goes in. That's awesome. Now I have to apologize. I took too long in making this video and I let my trial version of the software expire. So I apologize for that. Uh, I'm gonna put in some clips though of John from Irie 8T doing a demo of this device. I hope John doesn't mind, uh, <laughs> I'm sure he won't. I'll also put a link in the description down below to John's full video. I definitely recommend checking that out. He dives really deep into what this device can do, shows off all of its features. So if you're interested in that, interested in learning more about the Scholar HD, check out his video. All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of John's Demo Room. I'm John with IRT, and today we're gonna be taking a look at this, the Scholar HD. Well, the Scholar HD is inside the backpack, but we'll get to that in just a second. Anyway, anyway, so let's go ahead and get something underneath here to scan. I just have the manual handy, so I'm just gonna stick that right under there and click the scan button. Yeah. Sure. 
So I'm going to move my document around a little bit here and you're going to see that while I'm moving my document it actually won't capture my image for me and the reason for that is that it'll actually wait until it gets a clear image so I'm going to go like that all right that looks pretty good I'm going to let it go and as soon as I do that it's going to go ahead and capture my document and that's a nice feature to me. I want to give a big thanks to Irie AT for sending me this device to do a review of. I'm going to be sending it back and hopefully getting something else to show you guys. They've got a ton of cool equipment and I'm excited to try out something else. So big thanks to Irie AT, especially John over at Irie AT. Go check them out. There'll be a link in the description down below if you want to get more information about the Readit Scholar HD. Thank you very much for watching. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. I'll do my best to help out. If you like the video, be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all the videos coming out in the future. Thanks again for watching guys. This is Sam with The Blind Life. I'll see you next time.